So my project uh, is my own group with me, and uh, I try to promote the living tourism. Now, um, in the past two weeks, I um, I meet with some people from tourism, and uh, they um, always come to I mean, to something. These people come to the meeting for um, for visit, and uh, these people stay stay here one night, and uh, they want more people come here, but they don't know why. Why cause that? Why people don't come um, that come come here? So I try to figure out that myself, and I have some data from GCC and from website. Uh, this is the their web visit profile, but it's uh, this information. Only some uh, infographic and uh, show some uh, factors, but and um, this one is their um, report. It's uh, just a simple report, and uh, this is some uh, table and uh, some uh, um, simple analysis. But um, people cannot find enough information to solve their problem. So, uh, so I asked um, DCC, and uh, they gave me some websites. And in, in those websites, they have uh, a lot of information. And uh, some websites from MBI, I think, uh, they also have a lot of um, data, data reports and uh, some charts, even charts. Um, but the worst is that no one can interpret all of the data. And uh, um, so they need to do the process themselves and uh, download the data from uh, the website and they import them uh, or, or copy and paste in the Excel and they make some uh, chart. And so, so, so um, people hope um, government or something provide them uh, the tools. They can get all of the information directly and uh, visualize. <coughs> and this is the current thing they have. For pounds, Word, Excel, PDF, most of them they have and downloaded from the government website. And uh, so, my project is uh, try to extract all the data from those files. And uh, for example, like the um, date, date, they have different formats in all those documents. And uh, yeah, you can see that. And, uh, then process the data, transform them in the uniform format. Download it in database. <coughs> After that, we can shoot the data in web in visualize. So this is the example. This is the, the report we we saw, and uh, this is the data extract and uh, visualized from this table. And uh, here is the donating, and uh, we can see some uh, significant decline. Donating is the most decline. And so, in the nation context, and the people want to find the problem, and they can um, try to get more information and uh, the chance to analyze the problem. So this, this project um, is uh, try to make some uh, infrastructure and uh, to provide a, a architecture to collect the data and uh, um, help to generate the, the chart to report. The problem is that um, we cannot predict what kind of documents and what kind of data we can't have and uh, in the stable future we will, we will have. So um, we need a strong and a flexible architecture. We can um, create some uh, like uh, ADA in or something, something in, uh, in browser and uh, to import data from the system. And and uh, we need also need some uh, flexible structure to um, uh, for the future the uh, export. Visualize the path. We have different uh, things. So finally, we will deliver a system with the uh, intended architecture. So I I want 
um, have them to import import all data and export data to in the in all charts. And uh, I hope they can they can know how to create the the editing module to import data and uh, export the data as they want. So this this is required the system has a a enable architecture and uh, a stand a stand enable development. Um, by doing this, I try to use some. Uh, um, this architecture is not just simple means uh, the software itself. And the software itself has some uh, um, interface uh, interface developing or something to for for the for this um, target. And uh, they need also the work from it. That means um, the real documents and the testing and, and mechanisms and uh, um, the kids running through the system and run them automatically and. Uh, um, everyone in the future work the the AD module and the system will test them automatically and uh, generate some reports and tell them what's wrong and uh, the the ideal system is uh, people um, this development process help them faster uh, the development process and uh, um, they can in the future without I edit and one line in the current system. So we can um, we can protect the data in what what always Excel or something like that. But uh, we don't know the data source. So this is the problem and the in the future. Um, what will what data source will you have and uh, sometime Sometimes we have a new data source and a new um, new data format. The system needs some uh, some uh, adjustment adjustment. Um, that's the risk and uh, so this is uh, all the all the picture and uh, document from. The two files and the uh, website. So my the English is two. The one you understand? Yes, yeah, so I'm I'm not sure exactly what, but isn't this what um, government departments do and the the need and promotion? Yeah. Kind of organisations do. Yeah. I, I, I have concerns with this with this. Yeah. And uh, yes, they, they have interest on, on that, but yeah. they still um, some uh, meeting in their in the in the leading side. Yeah. And, uh, they have some decision and uh, they process slowly, but I come with them, so I make this uh, solution. So you want to make a tool that analyzes reports and gives a or yeah, they have a lot of data, but some data they don't want to explore to the public. Yeah. But some data they can share with the public, but only um, in the report. So, so they, yeah, they, they, they like this idea and uh, they can help them to save more of time. Even the document, you, you saw that, yeah. the picture, the chart, they even do that themselves. And mm -hmm. by Excel and make some um, chart and copy to the, um, to the, maybe to the world that I report to PDF, yeah. this is their process. If you if we have those systems and to have them curve the data and uh, generate the chart, it, it, it can save them time. And uh, and um, if possible, create some more website and uh, for the for show the data to the public. It, it kind of sounds just like an ordinary sort of ETL job, really, that's, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What, what about your project is making it different from the, the existing products that are out there for, um, for this already special for the Dunedin um, tourism? Um, I, I think the, the, the DCC want to use some business intelligence. Yeah, I, I, I know you mean the ETL, the business BI system, uh -huh. and uh, 
and the, I don't think they have uh, the people to maintain the system and uh, have the budget to run the system. It's expensive and uh, it requires people to know the system very well. So I try to simplify the, the, the things and uh, mm -hmm. Just I focus on the, yeah. Yeah, the, the tourism in the sector and uh, we can protect, protect the data. They, 80% some, some time and uh, simple the system and uh, try to tailor the system, the this is the AI system to their department. Excellent. Yeah. All right, we better move on. Thank you.